ready? All uh, praises, all uh, praises. Hey, first off, we want to give all uh, praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shah. Hey, the brother, uh, the brother, Shalat, brother Almighty in the spirit, we go keep rolling on with it, all right? And hey, let me get Deuteronomy 32 and 7. Let me get Deuteronomy 32 and 7. All uh, praise. Let me get Deuteronomy 32 and 7. Right? You you give me uh, Jeremiah 17 verse 4. Go ahead. Hey, my man, what's your question? What's your question? All right, that's cool. Stay right there. What's your question? Agree with what? What do you agree with? Okay. Uh huh. That's not an objection. Jesus isn't white. Of course not. Okay. So, so is it is it is it social? Is it the social scene where maybe where you guys have to protect the fact? Oh, but you, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's the like? Cause it's obvious. I'm from Cali. Okay. You feel me? Like, like, bro, there ain't no like. I, okay. I, I'm on your. So who who made Jesus white? Who did that? So, um, I'm not a historian, but I have some, I have some clues. Okay. So who, who did that? What are we fighting? Are, are, like, are, like, are you fighting that here? Is my question. Because, like, are you able to, like, honestly, I'm probably more loose than I am fucking, like, like. All right, Esau, yeah, Esau don't know it. Read that. Read what you got. The book of Revelation, chapter 13, and verse 9. If any man have an ear, let him hey, hear. the Bible, bro. He that leadeth into captivity. You gotta do what? He that leadeth into captivity. Right, so we're gonna cut straight to the point because we ain't got time to play. Who put the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans into captivity? Right. Right? The same people that gave us the white Jesus, that's the same people that raped, robbed, and murdered our people. Right. So you asked us what we fighting for. We fighting for the kingdom of heaven. Right. We fighting for our law, statutes, and commandments. Right. Read. He that leadeth into captivity. He that do what? He that leadeth into captivity. Right, so the so-called white man, along with all these other nations, led the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans into captivity. Right? right? Yeah. He, he that leadeth into captivity. Right. He that, uh, Salakia, shall go into captivity. Shall what? Shall go, go into, into captivity. captivity. What's going to happen to the so-called white man that gave us white Jesus? Shall go, go into, into captivity. captivity. What's going to happen to Mr. Clean right here? Shall go, go into captivity. The Lord said, you shall do what? Shall go, go into, into captivity. captivity. Right, so according to the Bible, you and your people have to pay for the actions that you did to the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans. Right? Are you ready for that? Can I ask you a question? Are you ready for that? Can I ask you a question? Uh, okay, but after you answer my question, are you ready for that? But you can't ask a question with a question. Are you ready? Go ahead. Go ahead. Have to fall for the sins of your fathers that sold you into slavery? Like I have to fall to Absolutely. Let me get Lamentations 5 and 7. That's right. And let me get Isaiah 14 21. That's right. Bring it up. Let me get Lamentations. Like, 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 5 and 7. Please. And let me get Isaiah uh, 14 21. Bring it up. Bring it up. Right? Quick on that sword. Why y'all act like I'm the enemy? Because that ain't, five, that ain't the What fast. you got? Lamentations 5 and uh, 7. The book of Lamentations, chapter 5 and verse 7. Bring it out. Our fathers have sinned. Our what? Our, Our fathers, fathers have sinned. So this is the path of Jeremiah. Right. Jeremiah said, Our fathers, not us, our fathers have sinned. Read. And are not. And are not. They're not here no more. Read. And, and we have borne their iniquity. We have their what? We, we have borne their iniquity. We have to borne the iniquities of our forefathers. Right. We wasn't alive during the time of Moses. Right. When our forefathers made a covenant with the Lord. Yes, but our forefathers broke God's commandments and God put curses on them and on their descendants. Right. right? So read what you got. 
And the same thing must happen to you and your people. Can Read that. All right, let's finish this real quick. We still answering this question. Read it. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14, verse 21. Read it up. Prepare slaughter. Do what? Prepare slaughter. Do what? Prepare slaughter. You got a lot of questions, but let me ask you a question. What is slaughter according to the Bible? What is slaughter according to the Bible? Okay, first off, you gotta you need to back back a little bit. Second off, what is what is okay, but listen. What what is slaughter according to the Bible? What does slaughter? Can you answer that simple question? Okay, tell what does it mean? Okay, so listen to this. <laughs> prepare slaughter. Prepare what? Prepare slaughter. Prepare what? Prepare, prepare slaughter. slaughter. The Lord said prepare slaughter. So you know, right, read. You know For his children. Not for him. For, for his, his children. children. His what? For, for his, his children. children. So you have to burn the iniquities of your forefathers, right? Because your forefathers rape, robbed, and murdered our people. So according to the Bible, that judgment has to come upon you and your nation, right? One so question. go ahead. This is your last question we're going to give you. Yeah, we're going to give you this my last, last one. My last question is this. All right, go ahead. Jesus Christ uh -huh. forgave me for all my sins. Why can't y'all forgive me? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a minute. That's why, that's hold on. You said, hold on. You said Jesus Christ forgave you? Of me, of my sins? Okay. Yes, uh, let me get yes, let me get Acts well, 5 and 30. Let me get Acts 5 and 30. Come on, man. That's logical. I'm going to tell you straight up. No, I'm going to tell you straight up. Like, Christ, hold on. Christ didn't die for you and your sins. Nope. He died Christ. for you and yours, but not Exactly. You died for, he died yeah, for yeah, our yeah, sins, yeah, but yeah, not yeah, your yeah, sins. Listen, listen. Yeah, listen, listen. Homie, 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 bring it up. Bring it up. So, the book of Acts, so, chapter 5, and verse 29. Yeah. Hey, if you would listen and pay attention, maybe your question could get answered. Read. Then Peter and the other apostles answered and said, We ought to obey God rather than men. Don't obey this white man. God rather than men. We go obey thus saith the Lord. We don't give a damn what the so-called white man got to say. We right. the God of our Father, the God of everybody, the God of our Father, Father. the God of our yeah. fathers, yeah. Abraham, yeah. Isaac, and Jacob. We yeah. the God of our Father raised up Jesus, raised, raised up, up Jesus, Jesus. whom ye slew and hanged on the tree. Who you going, Mr. Clean? Stay broke, Mr. Clean. Who you going? Who you going, Mr. Stay Clean? Broke. Why are you running? You got Why are you running? We, I ain't running him have God exalted Please. with his right hand uh -huh. to be a yeah. prince right. and, and a savior. savior. And a what? And, and a, a savior. savior. For to give repentance to Israel. Israel. To the white man. To Israel. To Israel. Mr. Clean. To Israel. To Israel. To Israel. So the Lord only died for the nation of Israel. Right. He didn't die for oh, the so-called white people. Islam. Right, read. Yeah. And we don't know what's going on. Let me get hey, let me get Proverbs. Let me get Proverbs 28 and 1. Let me get Proverbs 28 and 1. Bring that up. And shit, you lost an ally, homeboy. And hey, you, you are an ally, you are an adversary. Hey, fuck you. Enjoy the And we are job doing the damn devil. See his true colors coming out. His true colors coming out. Right? His true colors came out. Right? He said that he was for us. He said that he loved us. But at the end of the day, his two colors gonna come That's out. Right. Read. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 28, verse 1. Right. The wicked flee. The Lord said, What? The, the wicked flee. The Lord said, about who he the, wicked the wicked flee. The Lord said, about that way, boy. The, the wicked, wicked flee. Who you going, Mr. Clean? Mr. Clean, who you going? Read. The, the wicked flee. When no man will see you. But the righteous. With the who? But the righteous. Really? But the righteous. Bold as a lion. Right? We're not scared of this damn skin here. We're not scared of this damn skin here. Right? These shoe colors came out. Let me get her back in 204. Look on that sword. Let me get her back in 204. Right? Right? Yeah, hold that. Yeah, now hell with you too, Satan. Okay, because look, let me say this, right? You so-called black men and black women, the damn white man just displayed. I'm gonna give it right back to you, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The so-called white man just displayed his emotional, okay, rant on how he feel about the so-called Puerto Ricans and Negroes. Right, man. right. He got the nerve in these damn glasses, all the damn hell, okay, the rape and all the damn atrocities that you damn Europeans have caused on this earth. Okay, you got the nerve to say F us, man. Okay, well, the Most High got something for you in these last days. Okay, uh, Mr. Clean. Right. Okay, the Most High said in these last days, F you too. Right. Okay, because he going to come back, he going to destroy those that destroyed the earth. And you know what it is, okay, you're on life support. 
Okay, just to let you know, this whole country is on white support, okay, because of you, because of your evilness, man. That was just a clear display, okay, of how the so-called Europeans feel, okay, about the black man and woman, right, the black man and black woman. But in these last days, our people gonna find out that it's better for you to listen to the words of the Most High than to listen to the words of Satan. Okay, you gonna find out in these last days that the so-called Europeans, along with their damn children, this damn devil at the moment say, "I didn't have nothing to do." Yes, you did. Okay, we admit it that we sinned against our forefathers and sinned against the Most High. Okay, we admit it that the condition that we're in is because of what we went through, what we did, and we disobeyed, okay, from the Heavenly Father. But when it comes to you damn Europeans, okay, wanting to pay and wanting to take the blame for your damn evil, you always walk out and cop out. But the most signs holding the receipts, okay, all you, all you nations too, you damn EC means also, all you nations gonna pay a faith for what the hell have you done? Mainly to the children of Israel, okay, because the most high kept the receipts. You got the most signs, you stole something from the most high, you stole his treasure, and the most high wants it back. The most high wants it back. Okay, you start one of the most high cars possessions, and that's the children of Israel. Okay, and the most high calls us his treasure. You have stole the treasure of the most high, and he wants it back. He wants it back. It's going to cost you your life and blood and redemption. Okay, that the most high going to hold you, Europeans, accountable for. The damn name of that damn cracker going to come up here and tomorrow F us. But in these last days, the most high said it to you F you too. Come on, gang. All praises, all praises. And let me get that Habakkuk 2 and 4. Uh, right, bring that up. The book go, of, back, go back to that Deuteronomy 32 and 7. Right. The book of Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 4. Behold, his soul which is lifted up. His what? His soul which is lifted up. The Lord said about the so-called white man. His soul which is lifted up is not upright in him. He can be righteous. It's not upright in him. Christ died for a sin. It's not upright in him. And the Lord said this damn devil spirit is not upright in him. Right. He couldn't be righteous hey, if his life depended word, on him. Right? So this damn devil, he always come up sneaky. Right. Want to be deceiving. Want to act like he our friend. Look at this damn like idiot. Want to act like he loves us. But at the end of the day, his true colors going to come out. We're going to expose the so-called white man to the damn devil that he is. That's right. right? And we don't give a damn who got something to say about it, man. All right. Right? Now, get, that was it on that? Wow. All right. Uh, keep reading. And get that dude around me 32. It's ready. But the just shall live by his faith. Right, read. Yea, also, because he transgressed by one. He did what? He transgressed by one. He transgressed by one. He out here drunk as hell. Right? He out here doped up. Right. Probably off that uh, fit and all that methamphetamine. Right? Right? Coming up here, trying to uh, act like he he for the service of the Lord, right? Talking about what you mean I gotta pay for my sins, right? We had to pay for our sins, right? The Lord put our people in captivity for what our forefathers did. The Lord put our people at a lower state, put us in the ghettos and the slums, put us on reservations because of the sins of our fathers, right? So you don't think the so-called white man gonna have to pay for the millions of Native Americans that he murdered? Right. For the millions of so-called Negroes that he put into That's slavery? Right? Right, right. for murdering the Haitians and the so-called Dominicans? Right. For killing the so-called Mexicans? Right? The Lord said these yeah. damn devils gonna have to pay for that. Hey, we? He is a proud man! He is a what? He is a proud man! Who was that white boy that came up here? He is a proud man! And the Lord said the so-called white man is a proud man, right? You gotta be a proud damn man talking about, he talking about, yeah, y'all broke. Yeah, y'all stay broke. That's how the so-called white man feel about you niggas, man. Right. Right? But you still wanna kiss his ass. Right. You still right. wanna hold hand in hand with him. Right. You still wanna be a step in the fetching ass nigga. Right. You still wanna be a damn bear winch for your damn slave master. Right. Right? But that's how he look at you. You just a dark skin, nappy headed, big lip, right? Fried chicken, water meal, a miller eating ass nigga, man. Right? right? You just a broke ass nigga to him. Right? You see that? Read. He is a proud man. He is a what? He is a proud man. Read. Neither keep us at home. He's a what? Neither keep us at home. Right. He, ne he don't know how to mind his damn business. Right? He always in everybody damn business, man. Wanna come over here and see what we doing. Hey, this ain't got nothing to do with you. Read. Who enlarges his desire as hell. Right, read. And as as death cannot be satisfied, uh -huh. but gathered unto him all nations, right. and heapeth unto him all people. That was, that was 
Yeah, yeah. So yeah, not all got, these take hey, up hey, the Bible the, against the him, and they talk the proverb against him, hey, and word, say, woe to him that increases that which is not his. And that which is not his, man, this land don't belong to them. The kingdom of heaven do not belong to them. These law statutes and commandments do not belong to them, man. Right? Now read what you got, Deuteronomy 32 and verse 7. And let me get back to that Jeremiah 17, verse 4. That's right. Right, bring uh -oh, that. Uh oh, there be a man. Uh, Deuteronomy <laughs> chapter 32, <laughs> verse 7. Man, Remember the days of old. You what? Remember the days of old. Oh, man. <laughs> Mr. God bless America, man. Oh, man. All right, man. Mr. God bless America, man. All right, man. All right, brother. Good to see y'all, man. Good to see y'all. I'm all right, brother. All right, man. All right, brother. Get right, brother. Get right. Brother. Get right. Get right, right, brother. Come on, brother. Come on home, brother. I'm about to be having legions on the line. Bring that off from the top. Remember the days of old. Right. Consider the years of many generations. Read that again from the top, man. I got distracted by Mr. God Bless America, man. Read look, that again. Man, hey, man, look, man. Y'all hey, hey. ain't paying attention to nothing. If madness, this was man. me, goddammit, y'all would have had me already with a ticket, right. man. This don't we'll make no sense. Up. Sorry, sir. I, I just told him that he almost hit me with this damn car, and he still ain't looking. Now look at what he's doing. Okay, I just like to register. Yeah, get it yeah, together, you. Esau. Okay. Madness, man. He out here drunk, driving on the car. Hey, y'all got that on camera? Hell yeah. Hey, yeah get man. that on camera. This is what Esau got going on, man. Look at him. Right, right, look. He out here drunk as hell, can't even damn park, man. All right, but we gonna stay in this pit. Hey, Hermano, you got a minute for the words of the Lord? Hey, yo. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, and verse 7. Remember the days of old. Do what? Remember the days of old. Do what? Remember the days of old. And the Lord said these last days the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have to remember the days of old. Right? We got so-called Black History Month in February, right? Right? But the so-called white man don't want our people to know their true heritage. Right? All he wants you to learn about is Martin Luther King, right, Malcolm X, right. Harriet Tubman, right, Rosa Parks, right. right? But what about your history before you came off those nations, right? right? For you so-called Hispanics, what about your history pre-Columbus, right. right? So we came out here to give our people their true heritage, their true history, <laughs> according to this Bible. Because our people don't know that their history is in this Bible, right? Bring that up. Consider the years of many generations. No, just back in the uh, 1940s. Consider the years of many generations. No, just the 1950s. Consider the years of many generations. The Lord said, consider the years of many generations, right? According to the Bible, the so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans have a rich history, right? Right, we descend from the kings of the Bible. King David, King Solomon, right? Right, Moses, right? But that, the so-called white man not gonna teach you about that, right? The so-called white man and your Christian pastor not gonna give you your true nationality according to the Bible, right? Read. Ask thy father, and he will show thee thy elders, and they will tell thee when the Most High divided to the nations. did what? When the Most High divided to the nations. And the Lord divided the nations, man. So the so-called Mexican man got to separate from the so-called white woman. I see that. Right? The Lord said he divided the nations, right? But you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans just want to hold hand in hand with all these other nations, right? right? The so-called Black women just want to walk hand in hand with Brad and Billy, right? And Jake just want to walk hand in hand with Becky and Susan, right? But the Lord said we have to separate from our enemies. And brother, you got to repent, keep the commandments, brother. Read. When the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, their what? Their inheritance. So the Most High God divided the nations. But the so-called white man teach you that everybody equal, that everybody's supposed to be the same, right? But then the Lord divide all the nations during the time of the Tower of Babel. Right. Then the Lord give every nation their own land. Right. Then the Lord give every nation their own language, right. right? So why does America promote? Uh, everybody coming together and being one big melting pot, right? They do that to confuse our people. They do that to brainwash our people, right? Nobody walk into that. Right? We don't.
When he separated the sons of Adam. Wait, the, the Lord did what? When he separated the sons of Adam. He brought everybody together. When he separated the sons of Adam. Martin Luther King said he had a dream that little black boys and little white girls would go hold hand in hand. When he separated the sons of Adam. And the Most High God separated the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans from every other nation upon the face of the earth. Right. Right? We're not supposed to be doing the same thing as these heathens do. We're not supposed to be celebrating the same wicked pagan holidays as these other nations. Right. Right? We. When he separated the sons of Adam, right. he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Of the who? Of the children of Israel. Of the what? Of the children of Israel. Right, read. For the Lord's portion is his people. The Most High God's portion is his people. So the Lord is not dealing with every nation. The Lord is not dealing with that dirty damn Edomite that came up here talking about Christ died for him. Right? right? The Lord is not dealing with that, man. The Lord is only for his chosen people. And in these last days, the Most High God put the Spirit in his prophets to come out here and teach his people. Right? To teach our people to repent and come back to the commandments before death and destruction come to this wicked ass nation. Right. Right? So that was it on that? All right. Well, matter of fact, yeah. Uh, go to, uh, let me get Sirach 17 and verse uh, 11. Let me get Sirach 17 and verse 11. Bring that out. It's book of Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 4. Bring it out. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. Right. Hey, how y'all doing, family? Y'all believe in the Bible? Y'all got a minute for the words of the Lord? I guess not. You see that? Read that again. Book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. And the Lord said his chosen people have been discontinued from their heritage. Is this the so-called black man heritage? Right. Come out here on Greenwood Avenue, hide your damn mind, right. drunk out your damn mind, right. with your pants hanging off your ass, right. looking like a damn clown, yeah. looking hand in hand with the damn white woman, Walking hand in hand with the damn white man, right? Is this your heritage? Right. Right? Because that's what the white man teach you. He teach you your heritage is just fried chicken and watermelon. Right. Right? To be a damn gang beggar. Right. To be a blood or a crook. BET. Right? The NBA. Right. The NFL. Right? That's what they display on their media. That's right. Right? All they teach our people is that all we good for is catching the football. Right? Dribbling the basketball. Selling drugs and selling crack to one another. Right. Game begging and killing one another. Right. Not taking care of our kids and our families. Right. right? But the Lord said we are holy people according to the Bible. Right. The Lord said we come from a nation of kings and priests. Right. right? But the so-called black and Hispanic man don't want to come back to their true heritage. Right. They too comfortable with being under these heathens in this nation. Right? They too comfortable with joining hand in hand with these other nations. Right? Right? That's why, that's why the brother looked at me like that. I said, but you got a minute? He looked at me, he said, man, what's wrong with this nigga, man? I ain't trying to hear the Bible. Nigga, it's Friday night, I'm finna turn up. Right? Hey, come hear the word, bro. Read that. Two minutes, bro, two minutes. We'll finish, uh, finish that off.